Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I will show you how to use Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C to add capacity to an existing WebLogic cluster by provisioning a managed server onto a new host that isn't already associated with the domain or the cluster. This video is applicable to Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C Release 4 with Fusion Middleware Plugin Release 12.1.0.7. This demonstration assumes that the destination host target for this scale-out operation has already been discovered and that a management agent is already installed on it. By default, this procedure will create the same middleware home directory on this destination that is also on the source host. This location must either not exist on the destination host or be empty. The host running the source administration server requires one gigabyte of free disk space in its working directory. The destination hosts must contain sufficient free disk space to store the cloned middleware home along with the same amount of disk space for the working directory. For example, if the source middleware home is 3 GB, each destination host requires at least 6 GB of free space. These working directories will be cleaned up after the deployment procedure has successfully completed. In addition to having enough free disk space, this deployment procedure requires write permission to all working directories, as well as write permission to the new middleware home on the destination hosts. The administration server for this domain, as well as the managed server to clone, must both be up and running. Furthermore, this domain must not be in edit mode. And finally, this demonstration assumes that if you want to front-end these new servers with a web server like Oracle HTTP Server, then this target must already be discovered in Enterprise Manager. In order to scale out a domain, I log into Enterprise Manager as an administrator who has been granted the provisioning designer role. From the Targets menu, select Middleware. In this example, I will scale out an existing domain that is running Oracle SOA Suite. From the Target menu, locate the provisioning actions. On the source page, I can optionally modify the default working directory location. Remember that this location must have sufficient free disk space on the source and destination hosts. I choose one or more host targets to be the destination for this scale-out procedure. These hosts will run new managed servers in our existing cluster. A list of all clusters and servers in the source domain is displayed. For convenience, I clone an existing server. Alternatively, I could add and configure a new server from scratch. Most of the default configuration for the cloned server is sufficient for my environment, but I will change the default server name. I also must specify a listen port. Next, I choose an existing Oracle HTTP server target. These new managed servers will be added to the load balancing configuration of this target. On the next page, I supply credentials for all of the host targets that the scale-out procedure will need to access, including the host for the administration server, 
the destination host of the new managed server, and the HTTP server host. Similarly, I need to provide the WebLogic administrator credentials for the source domain. In the Schedule section, I can choose to either run this procedure immediately or at a later time. I can also customize the notifications, such as email messages, that I will receive as the procedure executes. And finally, I can optionally run the procedure in a special Analyze mode. In this mode, Enterprise Manager will run all of the prerequisite checks for the procedure, but not actually perform the scale-out operation. I am now ready to submit and begin the scale-out procedure. After submitting the deployment procedure, I can track its progress from the Procedure Activity page. And for troubleshooting purposes, I can view the details and results of each step involved in the scale-out procedure. After the deployment procedure runs successfully, I return back to the Middleware Targets page to verify that the newly created managed server is discovered and running. So that concludes this demonstration on scaling out an existing WebLogic cluster with Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C. Now you can quickly add capacity to your WebLogic and Fusion middleware environments. Thanks for watching.